Issue number 13 of the Power Rangers comic by Boom Studios is the first issue of the Altarian War on the Power Rangers side of the story. We begin with a recap of the Master Arch, being able to transport you anywhere, anytime. That's how Yale was able to use it to reach the Omega Rangers and bring them back to safe haven. On their return, the Omega Rangers are briefed by Archon, that Yale went to Archon for help, and when they arrived, the Master Arch was already open. Archon, able to understand Yale, tells the Rangers that a voice made Yale become the Blue Ranger, because if Jason, Zack and Trini died, so too would the universe. As Trini reconnects to sea, Tommy's transmission is played back to them, calling on the Omega Rangers to return to Earth because of Zordon's apparent death and Zartas' invasion. At Promethea, the Rangers are already taking on the Altarians, picking up from where Mighty Morphin issue number 13 left off. Aisha wanted to call in the Zords out of desperation, but Kimberly tells her that they didn't break Zordon's rules when he was around, and they're not going to start now. As the Rangers do battle, Grace tries to evacuate all non-essential personnel. Zartus watches Tommy fight Zeta, and Zartus is clearly not impressed with humans, thinking they are weak. After Tommy is defeated by Zeta, Zartus tells him that he can't even save himself. The Omega Rangers arrive and tell Zartus it's a good thing Tommy has them. As the Omega Rangers exit the portal, Trini easily defeats Zeta. So the Omega Rangers team up with the Mighty Morphin team once again. At the command center, Alpha initiates security protocol Dracon 1. That activates the defenses, and Alpha's drones arrive to attack the Altarians. Alpha also manages to defeat one of the Altarians. Returning to the Rangers battle, Bulk and Skull are on the scene recording for Ranger Station. The battle is so big, they think this could be the last time the subscribers see this. Now that the Omega Rangers are back, it means this is the first time they fight alongside the new Green Ranger. When Zack says hi, Matt removes his helmet to Zack's surprise. Now that Yale is part of the Omega Rangers team, this is also the first time the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers see the new Blue Omega Ranger. Kimberly is immediately impressed and tells Yale that they're totally joining the team. Now that the Rangers are more or less acquainted with their new team members, it looks like the Rangers have finally defeated the Sentry Force 4. However, Zartus doesn't see it that way, and he tells Jason and Tommy to look up in the sky. Tommy thinks it's a trick, but Jason tells Tommy that the Imperials are here. Zartus tells the Rangers to surrender and hand over the power coins. As a demonstration of the Imperials' power, Zartus has them take out Promethea. So that was easily destroyed, but that's not all. After Prometheus' destruction, the Imperial arrives at the moon, right on schedule according to Zed. And the Imperial then unleashes a blast on the moon palace, destroying it. Following the destruction of Promethea, the Power Rangers rescue who they can find. Some of them are missing, but they are forced to retreat. In Tommy's absence, Jason has taken charge and gets the Rangers to go through the Master Arch portal. Back at the command center, Billy and Alpha are transporting Zordon's backup. Billy tries to contact Grace, but deduces that if the emergency teleportation array is down, then something must have happened to Promethea. Billy tells Alpha they need to get outside, but then Zed's minions show up, telling Billy and Alpha to step away from Zordon's blue drum. Suddenly, the Master Arch portal opens and Jason passes through, after tracking Billy's morpher. Just as the minions are about to tell the Rangers of Zed's plan, Jason tells them that Zed's dead, and the Moon Palace was destroyed. Jason then tells the bad guys that they can choose to live by escaping with the rangers, or they can stay and be destroyed by the Imperials. The final shots are of the command center going up in flames. And with that, Zarta says he claims the planet Earth for the Altarian Empire. This was the best issue I've read in a long time. It had a good amount of action in it, so it wasn't at all boring. The two ranger teams are now together again, so it'll be good to see how things progress from here, especially as some rangers went missing after Promethea's destruction. Already I'm looking forward to the ending of the Altarian War. With the Moon Palace, Command Center and Promethea destroyed, does this change the Power Rangers timeline as we knew it in the TV series? Zed was to turn back into a human, even though that's been changed so he's actually Altarian in the comics. The Command Center is supposed to be destroyed as the Zeo era begins, before it gets reconstructed and destroyed again as the In Space era begins. Promethea was to become Terra Venture in time for the Lost Galaxy era. 
So how will this all play out in the end? Well, that's what interests me.